Let's play Redactyl number 491 on Thursday, August 10th. Tour title 65. I'll go over to the new site in preview. Uh, difficulty, of course, I'm right here at 1101, so it's only just available. <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, difficulty looks moderate. Again, it's 65. It looks to be a person who is still alive born on this date, is an American, I assume, 10, 5, 11, and 11, 3, 6, as the 4, 9 of the 6, 6, ah, um, and I'm thinking it's who served as the Vice President of the United States from 4 to 4. So I just need to think of a, if that is correct, a Vice President 6-5. Oh my goodness, let's uh, work our way backwards. Well, Mike Pence, um, Mike doesn't fit, or Michael. Um, Joe Biden. Uh, Joseph Biden. But wouldn't they say that he is president? I think so. And then... Um, who was George W.'s vice president? Uh, what's his name who shot someone in the uh, face? Oh my goodness. Anyway, let me go on and uh, maybe it's further back. Not Al Gore. Um... Who else is a living vice president? From some year to some year, he co-presented or something and something. The something television series, The Ten. He and his something have been something or something in more than so many thousand something. Oh, who am I not thinking of? Six, five. Five, three, the something as the 10, 7, against something, uh, again, S is no longer redacted, he was the something U.S., well, I'm thinking president, but uh, must be something else, excuse me. Um, what are, I'm hoping I'll see just something that's going to tell me who this is. Hmm. Since seven six five has eight seven eight in the ten five, um, could that be in the Democratic Party or Republican Party? They're both ten letters, if I'm counting correctly. I'm uh, very conscious of my counting abilities after yesterday. Um, Republican, Democratic, yeah. He has something, something in the something party in some month and year. 
the something something for the something. Oh, and maybe in the um, hmm. oh, in the something presidential primary, I think. Let's see, is an American politician, is I think the first one. 511, what is 511? And 11. Uh, maybe broadcaster? Something, yeah. As the vice president, yeah, if only I could work out what this year is um all right i'm going to pause sip my coffee and think of some former vice presidents okay well i did uh, finally remember the name of uh, w's vice president of course dick cheney and then before him was gore and then uh, Clinton succeeded George H.W., right? So his VP was the uh, potato man, Dan Quayle, Q, you know, six letters. Um, I am wondering if it is uh, Joseph. Oh, no, no, his middle name is uh, that weird Robinette, right? Joseph Robinette. And so I think it must not be um, what if any of the older VPs still alive. Um, Gerald Ford, but of course they would, yeah, they would mention that he was also, they'd say first that he was president and vice president. Um, who else was there? I think can't think of any other living so I must be wrong it must not be uh, maybe it's some other um, title let me try president it is no okay as the oh he served as the I think it's the number of president okay so um, then we um, maybe say that it is oh my goodness Barack Obama oh no it's not Barack Obama <laughs> oh my goodness is an American politician but president of the United States who the heck is uh, president Oh my goodness, of course, it's the um, three times indicted Donald, Jessica, Trump. Oh, out of sight is out of mind. Yeah, you never hear about that guy anymore. I'm sure he's just quietly enjoying his retirement. Um, all right, I don't know why I took the moment to think of him. Oh, and of course, the media part of it should have uh, been the, uh, yeah, The Apprentice, of course, co-produced and hosted. Yeah, gave his name to a lot of things. Not sure that he did too much else for those. Anyway, that's enough uh, about him. Hopefully we never hear about him again. Thanks as always for watching and have a great day.